when I was 16, 17, I ran away from home and I lived in a car and I uh, started doing a magazine, a zine. I you did it, it out first, of your car? Yeah. Yeah. I, I thought it was the first one in the world, like to do an independent magazine. I had no idea there was fanzines. I, when I found the world of fanzines, it was through Fact Sheet 5 and I was like, wow, there's hundreds of these things. But I, I saw People Magazine and all this other shit going around. I wanted to make something like it, but for our people. So I took like a guy who was pro weed and had him write an article and a vegetarian vegetarian wrote an article and put together a zine and you know that, that once you do that you all the underground folks sort of come to you they want you to review their poetry I remember Bukowski sending me poetry and I'd send it back and we don't do this fucking faggot poetry shit old man and he wrote me back and says who, who, you sound like the old man closed minded <laughs> And he wrote almost like a you know poem or form almost like you close minded that's old, and and so we started. I ran a couple of his things and we had a brief angry exchange, and then it was friendship. You know, we had a friendly exchange. It was same with Gigi Allen, and uh, so I just started interviewing him, and he wrote for my zine, and it was it was cool because I got to see behind the curtain, and I remember hearing Gigi Allen, his, his feelings were a little hurt because. I wouldn't meet him personally, just like Gacy wanted me to meet him, and I would not. And and um, because with Gacy, I didn't want to meet him because, well, I'd end up punching his fucking face in. You know, he's in prison across from me, and, and they tell me any visitors go see Gacy, any guy visitors go see Gacy, he'd pay the guards off, and he'd run around the room trying to rape him and stuff like that. Um, with Gigi <laughs> Allen... He was really upset I wouldn't come to see him. And I said, Gigi, man, in all of our interviews, everything we said, when he would call me from prison and all this, and I said, dude, you're, you talk about, you, you, know, you get close to the Gigi fire, you get burned. You talk about raping your friends, man. You t I, I mean, I saw a film where the guy's filming, he's like interviewing you, and you grab the camera, beat him up, and start pulling his pants off to rape him. I go, dude, why would I want to hang out with you, man? I mean, he's like, well, that ain't going to happen to you. And I'm like, Dude, that's what you say, but what if the GG fire gets raging? I don't need that. You know, and then I think about also like, you know, me, imagine meeting Gigi at the malt shop and he's just friendly, not drunk, and but he's got that shit under his fingernails. You know what I mean? You're going to figure out like there's got to be feces hanging from something. I don't need that, you know? So, so you'd never been in the same room with him? Because I would imagine that guy was fucking foul to be around. Well, on the like I said, like I would imagine that too, but... There was a couple moments on the phone where he spoke like a human being. He wasn't in character. He wasn't, you know what I mean? He wasn't doing this shtick. Not that it wasn't real, but he was trying to have a friend. And 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 I, I, I was freaked out by him. I wish I would have went and met him in person now. But at the time, I was young and just, you know, freaked out. I'd go meet him today if you're around. <laughs> no. Do you, so do you think there was some sort of a just a persona and like when he was like hanging out at his house watching all in the family he was just kind of like whatever or was I he, think or or what or, oh no yeah I just like it or maybe he was like bipolar or some fucking crazy shit yeah I think it was so like like that kind of, I think it was I I think he he was an artist and a really decent artist and he got caught up in hype and believed his own shit you know and it's one of those one of those things. He got caught up in the. He got caught up in everything. He accused Izzy or uh, no, um, oh, the, the shit. Iggy, Iggy Pop. He, he was really angry at Iggy Pop for selling out and getting on corporate labels and all that. <clears throat> and basically, G. G. Allen did the same thing. He just stayed on independent labels and stuff. He he just believed his own shit and became a rock star. And, you know, died a pathetic uh, death of a heroin overdose after threatening to kill himself on stage and take out his crowd, you know. It's too bad. How horrible, you know. I had people back in Chicago because he would play the original Exit and people were always like, you gotta go see this. And I was like, there is no fucking way I'm going into a room where a guy th throws his own shit at the... <laughs> like, I'm like, no way. And even if you go there, the guy's also threatening to kill himself and kill his audience. There's another level, like the apes are gonna throw shit at you too at the zoo, but then there's the level of, I'm going to kill people. And it's like, I don't want to go to that. Did, do you think, did he actually rape people though and kill, do you think he killed anybody? No, I don't think Gigi was that kind of person. I think he play raped people to freak them out. I love play rape. Yeah, I think he tried to, <laughs> you know, pull your pants down and get on top start humping you, but uh, he didn't seem to be, you know. Hey, well, plus, plus he was so jacked on so many chemicals yeah. that getting an erection was probably impossible. 
Yeah, he was put in prison in Wisconsin. That's why I started talking to him for like some sort of rapish charge <clears throat> where he bit a woman and cigarette burns and all that. But he, he pleaded that she wanted that. And and reading into the case and reading into some of her letters that he sent, he personal letters, I would believe that's so, uh, sort of true. Like, you know, she bit off more than she could chew. You know, she was flirtatious. She talked about violence and bondage and being hurt in her letter. You know, liking to be bit. Not, you know, and so I think she bit off more than she could chew with Gigi Allen, and he probably did really put a severe hurting on her. She got close to that Gigi flame. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 